brothers and sisters in Christ, we are preparing for Christmas and this is the fourth day. We have been seeing the unusual ways in which God works. We have seen four women last three days. The four women in the genealogy of Jesus. The fifth woman who is mentioned is different from the first four. Tamar, Ruth, Raha and Bathsheba. They had imperfections in them. Yet the Lord accepted them. The Lord worked through them. Here we have the fifth woman, Mother Mary. Three things. We have hundreds of things which we can learn from her. But three things that the Lord is speaking to us this year through her is the value of humility, the value of simplicity and the value of obedience the value of simplicity obedience and humility so let's come to the first thing humility mother mary was a humble servant of god humility is not decreasing yourself humility is knowing your true value Humility is not trying to putting yourself down, but humility is raising yourself to the true value of yours. Not looking at yourself through the prism of your talents, your wealth, your possession, your property, but looking at yourself, how God looks at you is true humility. Henceforth, Humility doesn't mean I become a doormat and people walk on me. Humility doesn't mean I become victim. Humility means I become a instrument, a weapon, a witness. Instrument, weapon and witness of God. And that is what Mother Mary, the humble servant of God, her submission to God shows her humility. She was the humble one who was there for God to use her. Now, what is the whole play? What happens if I'm not humble? If I'm not humble, I am not allowing God to work through me. I am blocking God. Because my thoughts about myself, my conceptions, they somehow block God working through me. We have all seen taps, right? Water flows through them. What happens if there are some sediments blocking the flow of the water? Slowly, the tap becomes useless. There is water, but not flowing because there are things that are blocking. The same happens when I'm not humble. And the greatest thing about Mother Mary is that she allowed God to work through her completely, perfectly, fully. And that's how the Son of God was born through her. That's the power of humility. Second was her simplicity. She was not complicated. She was not doubting God. Look at Gideon the way he was questioning God. He was not, she was not doubting God. She was not questioning God. She was not worried about so many things. She was simple. Her mind was clear. That is the power of simplicity. Her mind was very, very clear. That's why she was able to focus all her strength on giving herself completely to God. What happens when I am not simple? What happened when I'm sophisticated? If you know the uh, gadgets that we have, the more the gadget is sophisticated, the less you can trust it. Exactly the time you need it, it will not work. It has huge capacity, but it has huge complications. That's why you have to take it to the mechanic. You need its service. You have to take care of it because do not know when these complications will come. Mother Mary was not complicated. Finally, her obedience, her complete surrender to God. 
let it be done to me according to your will and this was not a dialogue not a statement this was her life definition of her life let it be done let it be done you do i am here do through me work through me i will stand by you lord i will just give myself completely to you and that's how she became a greatest instrument of god henceforth an unusual way because she was a young girl a little one her own elders wouldn't have trusted her with some work because young girl what she knows she knew much more than them young girl what she can do she did great things so therefore god did not look at her physical strength or physical stature at a age he looked at her heart and her heart was pure because it was humble simple and obedient amen